I'm Sergeant Jenny Iwanchi with the 133rd MPAD. That's public affairs if you don't know, and social media is part of our job. Did you know that Facebook now has 2 billion users? That more than likely means that your commander has a page, your grandma, your kids, and maybe even your first sergeant has a page. There's more than 328 million Twitter users and 700 million Instagrammers. Now what does that mean to you? It means that people are watching. You are members of the greatest and most professional military in the world, and you are expected to act accordingly, even online. Here's a quick rundown of guidelines for your social media activities. OPSEC. Do we really need to discuss this? Never post or share information that could be detrimental to the mission or security of guardsmen or their families. Respect. The golden rule. Be good digital citizens. Embody the Army values. Posts or photos that discriminate express bigotry, sexism, inequality, or prejudice of any kind will not be tolerated. You can't delete it. Once you hit post, it's out there and you cannot take it back. Screenshots have gotten soldiers in trouble. People are watching. Understand digital crime. Disrespecting superiors is a crime under the UCMJ. If you violate someone's privacy online, posting photos of someone without their consent can be considered a crime. You can be punished in both military and civilian courts. Stay in your lane. If you're an MP, don't discuss flight ops. If you're an engineer, don't tell me about artillery. No endorsements. You cannot make public endorsements, period. We are a politically neutral organization. It doesn't matter if you are for or against a political figure. You cannot say it and be a member of our organization. That creates the perception that the military is for or against something, and we are called to avoid that. When you post online, you are representing the Kentucky National Guard and the U.S. Army. It is part of your responsibility as a soldier and a citizen to understand what respect looks like, on duty, at home, and online. If you want to hear more before you are told more, contact the Public Affairs Office or visit the Army's social media guidebooks at this DOD link. We could add hours to training days with regulations, alarax, case studies, or basic instruction on how to navigate the social networks. Let's avoid that by not doing stupid stuff online. The bottom line here is behaving appropriately on social media. Let's all be professionals and respectful people who do the right thing in all aspects of our lives.